<laughs> Previously on Less Social. There's a bunch of these code fluencers, right? And maybe I could call myself one now. But um, where's their own app, dude? I see a bunch of um, social networking platforms for programmers, but they're all code first, right? Stack Overflow, code first. GitHub, code first. But what about a person first social networking platform for programmers? What's up? I wanted it done by May 1st, but uh, obviously I think we took like a four week break. Uh, started playing Madden a little bit, slacking off. We couldn't find a designer. The designer that I found ghosted me, and now we found a new designer. Yes, Billy, how are you? Oh, uh, I'm fine, finally. Okay, okay, thank you for joining. Um, I was telling, this is my team, this is Gabe um, and Song. They're very talented developers, and um, we're gonna build the, uh, we're gonna make the design that you make very well. So uh, I just wanted to kind of uh, get together and just introduce you. And um, uh, can you just uh, share your screen and show like the uh, the app that you made, the design that you made before, just so we can like talk about uh, the design system and things like that, please. This app was like uh, for hiring and job finding platform. For so we're waiting on his designs. He made, made some logos. Uh, we gave him some wireframes just to make the first couple of screens. In that time, I was working on it a little bit, but uh, we're on like React Native 0.76 and it updated to 0.79 now. They got rid of like the appdelegate.mm file and the h file and stuff from like Objective C and they changed all Swift. So I'm trying to upgrade it, but I'm thinking like the best way to do it is just to init a new project and move all our files over. So I'll do that in the coming couple days and uh right now um i guess we're still waiting for designs but uh we got to work on the back end a bit i did post like a staging server did some back end stuff i had a bug with there to populate and transforming documents but that's all working out too um we're on hiatus but uh now we're gonna come back hopefully uh you know the designs will come out and we'll get it done swiftly so the team objective now is to kind of regather I think people are all graduating and things now. So we need to regroup and uh, kind of start this weekly like um, plan, planning and scrums and all this kind of stuff again. Um, you know, I gotta wake, I gotta wake the heck up, dude, you know? And uh, people aren't gonna work as hard if I'm not working that hard, right? So I gotta, uh, gotta do what I need to do, bro. And um, get it done. First is uh, fixing the client, and then people can start working on the front end again, you know, get on the back end again. And uh, now I think we've finished like the navigation shit and stuff like that. So now we need to like be able to post, comment, and like, and things like this. And uh, yeah, it'll be done soon. Gabe is uh, graduating, I think. Uh, Rudy's graduating, Song is, uh, he, he was a little bit busy for a while. Uh, Jocelyn's a little bit busy. We need to all regroup, find some comfortable time, find some time out of the day where we're all going to code on Let Social for like one or two hours a day. You know, that's eight hours of progress a week, I mean a day. So that should be pretty good. So it should be my job to like give them the tasks that they need. But we do have like the starting code, broken code now for our front end. Um, good code for back end, good code for admin panel. So, uh, I think fixing the front end is, a, is a, a task and a half, but get that done. I'll okay. do that with Song probably. Oh yeah, so I've been slacking on the um, app, but we've been trying to get this, uh, you know, well, grease up machine, the mentoring service. And um, that's been taking off a lot actually. So I've been, you know, focusing my energy there and on the community, I'm trying to focus a little bit more energy there. So, um, now I feel like a little bit, you know, uh, effort can be kind of displaced from there to the app again. Okay. And I'll get that going. Not displaced, transferred, yeah. So there's the upgrade. I've been trying to upgrade it and the Google sign-in is kind of broken right now from I think the package library. So uh, the course of attack right now is, um, I tried upgrading through the upgrade helper. Keep breaking things though. Um, I think the easiest way now, with all that time I could have done it, I feel like I could have just ended a new project and moved everything over.
that would have been probably the easiest solution from the beginning and that's how other people do it reading on stack overflow and stuff anyways it's how you, i don't think because 0.76 to 0.79 is a pretty big jump you know when everything upgrades from 0.76 to 0.77 to 78 to 79 i should have done small increment upgrades instead of just waited that way it would have been a little bit easier i know the swift they got rid of the objective c stuff and it moved to swift from 77 we would experience this break a lot long ago if we didn't if i if i didn't wait so i'm and it's running like if the newer projects run a lot faster so i'm kind of excited to do that is react native always going to have this kind of problem with yeah react native pretty much you know there's reasons why people don't like it there's reasons why people you know but mobile development is all very similar i think flutter is going to be the same way everything is so developers are super important because um even if it's working today you know a small upgrade function is going to break your whole thing and you're going to need apps, uh, people to fix that stuff uh, what is going to make less social different than other social networking apps so what's going to make it different is um you know it's going to be targeting board for programmers and uh you know it's gonna just the community wise it's going to be different kinds of people it's not like we're gonna block people but um from using it but i think it'll be focused towards programmers you know the topics that we're going to talk about are going to be a little bit different the uh you know the form like the question like stack overflow kind of like feature yeah so the question feature is like the stack overflow feature where someone can post a question and there's gonna be a bounty program where people can like win points and stuff and use points to ask questions, things like that. It's gonna be just be a Q&A session. It's a Q&A place. Ask your questions. Hey, so uh, we worked on a little bit of backend stuff today. Um, worked on this populates function. We worked on the um, like service and we worked on the um, topic service. So we're gonna have four, four topics like programming off topic, tech news, and um, here, let me just run it real quick. So I have some stuff running. Dev. So then, um, basically, uh, uh, if I list my posts, I can see all my posts coming in with the uh, population happening for the author and the topic, and that's getting set inside of uh, this populates in the settings. Uh, v1 topics get we want the field id and topic it, it runs into that field and that's going to work with this transform documents that's that and then um we worked on the like function so i think this will be uh, id token is expired so let's go find the token real quick um there you go let's fix that real quick just get a new token and back here we can like a post there we go we can send this request we can move the like post like remove like it will go back and forth we can like a lot of things and um it's gonna work with this uh, like service with the broker um probably when you like it we're probably gonna have a, a notification service so we're gonna have something like an event that pops up and then it's going to say liked so later on maybe um in the post service when someone gets liked when your post gets liked um let me see handle like right here um right here if add like you can just say like this dot or you're going to say ctx dot uh broker broker dot emit on the event like post Let's say like post dot like, and then maybe we're gonna have some kind of um, we'll have some kind of a notification listener, like an event to send out a notification to say that it's liked in another place. So that's gonna be set inside of the event. So it's gonna be like post dot liked, and then that's gonna. We're probably gonna insert like or this dot uh, Firebase dot uh, you know send send notification something like this and um, set all that kind of stuff up. I think I have the Firebase set up in the user service, but I'm gonna 
probably gonna set it up somewhere else too. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, um, we have uh, so far we have the posts, the topics, the likes. We're gonna need to make a post comment service, and then we're gonna need to make a post comments reply service or something like that. And then we'll also, or maybe just comments, and then um, the notification service, the listeners, and um, yeah. It's just the beginning, but uh, I'm pretty excited about what's happening. All right, cool. So next course of action is fix the front end. Wait for the design, because the design is getting made right now. Mm-hmm. We paid some money for that. And um, now, uh, realistic timeline, I think once we get the design, six weeks out from there. So if you want to learn how to build an app from scratch, there's the link in the description. You guys can join. You know, even if uh, you decide not to join, I think there will be free value on the call. Reach out, so maybe you can comment in the uh, comment below an app idea you have, and we can get a conversation started about that. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.